Honourable Member for Parkdale High Park. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Mr. Speaker, several airlines have uh, dropped their agreement with the aviation fuel service provider uh, in Montreal and Toronto, and dismantling this consortium will jeopardize some 300 good jobs. The union is uh, threatening to uh, lodge a complaint for unloyal practices, and uh, the accounts there must be uh, a time for the Canada Industrial Relations Board to, to make a decision before the consortium is uh, dismantled. Will the Conservatives uh, make it possible so this labour contract doesn't occur? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I appreciate the question from the Honourable Member and will confer with the Minister of Labour on the matter with respect to airlines and regulation and labour situations. The Honourable Member for Parkdale High Park. Well, let's try again because we have hundreds of jobs at risk here. Mr. Speaker, Air Canada and other airlines have walked away from long-term contracts for aviation fuel services in Montreal and Toronto, resulting in the mass termination of more than 300 workers. Wow. The Canada Industrial Relations Board is now looking into multiple complaints of unfair labour practices. Again, will the Conservatives work with the companies and the workers to find a resolution and will they halt the shutdown until the board has finished its investigation? The Honourable Minister of Labour. Well, Mr. Speaker, as uh, I think the member opposite knows, uh, the Canada Industrial Relations Board is an independent body and may, will make their decision in due time. What we are doing at the Labour Program, though, with our mediators and conciliators, we are continuing to, continuing to work with both parties to make sure that they come to resolution of their issues. We know that when parties work together, they come up with the best solutions for their workplaces, and we intend to help them get to a good solution.